Bro, I didn't know your voice would be this deep. I ain't gonna lie to you. Caught me off guard. You thought I was little or something? Man. <laughs> I did. I did. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Damn. How old do you think I am? Um, 24. Lower. 18. Higher. 17. I said higher. Oh, sh my bad. Uh, are I'm you gonna lie. about this debate? Sal, you you brought up a real good point. Steph wait, wait, wait. Are you are you are you on show. Steph's side or uh, Russ side? Oh, Steph, Steph for sure. Talk dirty. Let's go. So you brought up you actually brought the point that I was gonna bring up. Okay. When when they went to the finals, who did Steph lose to? Yep. Brian, right? Yep. Right, one of the greatest. Yep. Russ lost to <laughs> as as Banks said, my fucking Trevor <laughs> Reason. <laughs> <laughs> like the Royce and then with that whole that whole OKC that whole OKC uh team they ain't really had like their whole solid pieces for real and I feel like Royce Russ on that team was really the only one doing shit for real mm -hmm. cause who who was on that squad it was Russ Steven um it was uh, like Robertson. Andre Robertson that was was, was Victor yeah. deep on that team yes he was yeah, yeah okay. on that team all okay. was passed on it you what they, they never they never matched up in the playoffs did they who <clears throat> Uh, that year, OKC and no, nah, you know they ain't matched up in that series. No, nah, not that year. Nah, uh, they matched up when Katie went there. Hey, hold on, Wait. I'm gonna interrupt y'all real quick. W's in the damn chat because I see people saying, "Don't let Cell gas y'all and use team success to compare individual no, players." No, what the? F hey, hold on, I'm not. <laughs> and then he said, "What does that have to do with anything?" Y'all acting like Steph won by himself. Okay, you act like Russ won by himself. Did he not have so players a, on but, the team? Hey, but that's the thing, though, is notice how in the beginning I said I, I like the fundamental or fundamental basketball and how he made his team better. He had all these people, like, for example, y'all just said Villa, Victor Oladipo was ass on the Thunder, which don't by all means he was, <laughs> right? But look, he had Alex Abrinas having his best season. Raymond Felton had one of his best seasons. Steven Adams had one of his best seasons. Uh, Roberson had one of his best seasons. Ferguson, best season. So if, if we're talking about individual making players better, when Steph Curry's on the floor, no one gets more attention than that man right there, right? Which means it allows your teammates to be in better positions to score. A lot more open shots, more ice opportunities, able to move more freely around the court. Jordan Poole, Klay Thompson, etc. Harrison Barnes, right? When Kevin Durant was there, when Kevin Durant was there with Steph Curry, Kevin Durant had the most ISO possessions because of what reason? They were doubling Steph and saying, we'll live with the ISO of Kevin Durant. Wait, we're talking about Kevin Durant. They said, we will live with an ISO over in Steph Curry ISO, over a Steph Curry one-on-one -on -one situation. Think about that. I'm gonna go double Steph and leave the Slim Reaper over there. Are you serious? Easy Money Sniper in the ISO? 710 Monster, are you kidding me right now? Oh, Brody, all I'm saying is that the impact Russ had, his best player leaves him. His best player leaves him. The odds of him making the playoffs should have went down drastically. My backup point guard is Samaj Christian. My second best player is a fat Victor Oladipo. My third best player is Steven Adams. When I go to the bench, the team is literally garbage. Steph Curry and Golden State, they, they slogan was strength in numbers. I did not have that. I had to put the team in my backpack every night to win games. Every night. 31, 10, and 10. 44% from the field. 35% from trade. 80 plus percent from the line. Getting every single rebound. Getting, getting playmaking for everybody. The clutch, the clutchest player in the league. The clutchest player in the league that year, man. The clutchest player in the league. The 50 point McNugget. 10 assists, 10 boards, game winner in Denver is arguably one of the greatest games I've ever seen a human being play, period. We went to Orlando, we down three. He gets the ball off the free throw, he comes down. He hits a contested three ball to tie the game with three people on it. The clutchness was unreal. The amount of game winners, game tires. Like, come on, bro, it's not even, it's close. It's close. But if we're going to talk about impact, helping a team, literally putting a team on your back, that was LeBron-esque. Oh, and you're going to argue me about Steph hey, Curry? Hey, 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 Don't you compare Russ and Steph to fucking Braun, all right? Different conversation. Different category. Don't you bro, do we it. We're talking about one year, Steph. Don't you we're do it. We're talking about one year, though, bro. Don't you compare it to the greatest. To, we're not talking about a totality. I understand. Listen. Everybody in the chat, I understand Steph Curry is better than Russ all time. Okay. I understand this. 
Steph Curry is the second greatest point guard of all time. When I say behind it, who? I am behind not who? Eating, behind I, who? Magic motherfucking Johnson. Behind LeBron, nigga. What you talking about? <laughs> bro, all I'm saying, bro, if we talking about one year, Russ's peak is arguably like it's Wait. like top five in NBA history. His peak? Okay. His peak. <clears throat> okay. One year. Come on, bro. Okay. Come on, bro. Ru- Steph had strength in numbers. He had an entire squad. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Interesting. Um, can we can we can we first talk about this, right? <clears throat> I'm a, I'm 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 gonna shut you down right here with this one. I'm gonna ask you one question. Who was rated higher coming into the league? Who had more of a he is going to be a greater player expectation? Steph or Russ? Correct me if I'm wrong. Neither one of them ever huh? rated. What? Neither one of them. No, 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 Darren Collison was the point guard. No, nah, after that, he, he took he, he took over Darren Collison. You feel what I'm saying? No, he yeah, did not. yes, he They're did. Twenty twelve, yo, twenty twelve, yeah. No, I'm talking yeah. about you're talking about entering the league. Russell Westbrook, they, Oklahoma City took a chance on Russell Westbrook, drafted him at the four spot. Sam Presti took a chance on him. So he, so wait, so he, he, he got drafted higher, right? That's what I'm saying. Yes. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. But we talking about like entering the league. Steph and Russ, they wasn't nobody was really high on those guys. And you really about to tell me that? Russell Westbrook was a two guard. He had to morph into a one. They, they trying to tell hey. me Russell. It's all of a sudden when Russell Westbrook leads the league in assists. We got an issue when Russ leads the league in assists. Oh, oh, all he do is drive and just dish. Oh, he hunting assists. But when somebody else do it, it's a big issue. Eleven point two assists. I'm so good at, 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 at like baiting the could. dog, y'all. I'm so good at throwing lobs. I'm saying is one year. I'm taking Westbrook, 2017 Westbrook, over a lot of these guys. You know that, and you know that, and you know that. Hey, can I say you're, something? Can I say something? Go ahead. Uh, I'm, I'm literally throwing you lobs right now because I know you're a big rest guy. So I'm saying blasphemous stuff so I know you can go into your bag. I'm, I'm super trolling right now. <laughs> I, I don't even believe what I just said on the <laughs> on the rush have for expectations. Oh, rush at zero, and you know that. They thought he was going to suck. Ah! And y'all going to tell him. Y'all really going to oh tell me. Oh, my gosh. This is the issue. And here's the stat pad issue. Y'all don't say nothing to Luka Doncic. Y'all don't say Luka Doncic is 14 years old and he got all these triple doubles. 14? He got all these triple. I'm saying I'm exaggerating. Oh, okay, okay. He young as hell. He young as hell with all these triple doubles. Y'all don't say Luka stat pad nothing. But you see, y'all, mm, man, I, man, I be wanting to spew. I'm not going to spew too much. I'm not going to say too much. Cause they always, it's always Russ. It's always, it's always some of Russ. It's always Russ. Russ this. Russ but, trash. But, Russ did, but, 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 Steph not elevate his teammate as well. Yes. So he did, right? Yes. But I'm talking about doing more with less. Russell Westbrook is the epitome of that. It's literally LeBron James doing more with less. Cause LeBron James takes everybody to the finals. He could take. Come on now, man. LeBron can take me and you to the finals. Three versus exactly. five, right there. Exactly. But I'm talking about we're doing more with less. Is Bron a huge drop off? And then it's Westbrook. <clears throat> okay. And then it's Westbrook. Westbrook is the next player that could do more with but less. You're, but you're saying you're you're trying to compare Westbrook to arguably one of the greatest players to ever play the game that year, 2016. Unanimous, the first ever unanimous MVP, 50, 40, 90, plus 400 threes in a season. Be Ellis in a season. In a season. I'm not disputing that, but what I'm saying is, it's, it's apples and oranges. What fruit do you want? Do I want, you want I want pineapples. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what I'm saying is, you pick and choose. I'm taking 2017 Russ. I like the overall impact. I can do this. I can do that. I can do this right here. I can elevate. I'm elevating Stephen Adams. What has Stephen Adams done since he's left Oklahoma City? Say, set good screens. Exactly. Before that, he was having he was averaging double digits with Russell Westbrook coming off high ball screens, and that's the issue with the Lakers. I could count the amount of times on my hand how many times Russell Westbrook came off high ball screens. They got him isolating on the wing. He got there shooting that shit off the backboard, man. How many high ball screens did he do with AD or Bron? Listen, Sal, I watch a game. They was playing Houston. Uh, at Houston, 
He's playing for the Lakers. Him and Brian high ball screen the whole closing time during the fourth quarter. He just dishing. Laying it up. And I'm like, what are we doing? Why are we not doing it all year? Why don't we have more high ball screens with Brian? One three pick and rolls, one five pick and rolls with the white or AD. They got me isolating on the wing. And next, you know, that shit going off the shot clock. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm telling you, man, that shit was coaching last year. Y'all can say whatever y'all want. That's coach. You got Kent Bazemore out there for 25 games with DeAndre Jordan, LeBron, and, and, and Russell Westbrook. What shooter is out there? LeBron. Exactly. That's where we went wrong. LeBron's the shooter. That's and, the issue. And, and Russ. All right, you trolling. Oh so, oh, so you're saying Russ can't shoot? Russ is not a shooter. <clears throat> okay. He's oh. not a shooter. Oh, but I'm Steph, realistic. Steph, I'm being Steph real is? with you, bro. bro Steph I'm is, right? Real. Bro, it's yes. Okay, so if you're, if you're if you're gonna start your team with a player, are you picking 2016 versus 2017? I mean, 2017 versus 2016 staff to, to start. 2017, a, Russell Westbrook shot 36 percent from three. I'm good with that. Okay, I'm 70, perfect with 73 that. 73 and nine. That staff that had nothing to do with that. What you mean? I'm just saying. He had a lot to do with that. That's what I'm saying. So like he had a lot. He had a lot to do with that. But we're not gonna sit there like Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, and that wonderful bench they had that year. What didn't play a huge okay, one in, but, in but, the seventy three games. But was that team not drafted together? What they, point are you making, they, Mr. The Marshall? first year they won the ring in 2014 15, that was a fluke and it was an accident. That might have been the weakest ring in NBA history besides them getting Kevin Durant. It, it hurts to this day. I, I watched I watched the Le, I watched LeBron go out there with him. And Matthew Delavadova, he turned Delavadova into a multi-million dollar player. Multi. Can we talk about that? <laughs> Can we talk about that? I want to hear about what Russ did when Bron turned Matthew Delavadova so into a multi-million dollar basketball yeah. player. Yeah. So, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. All right, all right. Now, now you're making me mad with this, right? 2016-17, OKC Thunder roster. And we okay. gonna, I'm gonna just name these names off. Let's do it. I just Let's do want it. you to just, just, just. I really, I like, who's good on this roster? Who, who, like, like. I, oh, let me. Go, I'm gonna Google it. Let me Google. It. Google. Okay. This, this team is atrocious. I could have played for these niggas. <laughs> Come on, man. All right. Alex Abrines. Strap. Trash. Can't guard a bank with a machine gun. Stephen Adams. Bucket. Samaj Christian. Do you know what that is? Who? That's my Samaj Kristen. Do you know who that is? No. That was my backup point guard. Okay. Respect. Norris Cole. Oh, uh, two time champ. You oh no, you you trolling right now. I, I did two time you, champ. <laughs> you, you, trolling. you trolling right now. Norris Cole is our hype, bro. Who the fuck is he gonna guard? Hey. He a two time champ, bro. Oh my god. Make it make sense. Ennis Cantor. Hard body. Can't guard a bank with a machine gun in the pick and roll situation. Wait, you say he can't guard the bank with he a machine gun? Can't guard a bank with a machine gun. What's that in mean? The pick and roll. I can't guard a bank. He if he got a machine gun, he'll be shooting that snare if somebody's trying to rob him. <laughs> he can't guard a bank with a machine gun. Taj Gibson. Bucket with the come on, bro. They were they was arguably the best team in the East when he was over there in, in the, with the Bulls. What you mean? That was 20 years ago. Hey, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm just saying. That's 27. All right. Jeremy Grant. Hard body. He I like Jeremy Grant. That's that's when something come good. Josh Hustis. Who? Exactly. Okay. Ilya Sova. Yes. Trash. Jeffrey Laverne. Different. He different. <clears throat> Doug McDermott. Uh Dougie McBuckets. Come on. Stop it, bro. You're not about to do come this. Oh, Dougie McBucket. He's leaving the league. Victor Oladipo. Yes. Okay. And he was fat as hell. Can you, is there any way you can screen share here? I want you to pull up 2016, 2017 Victor Lodipo compared to the Victor Lodipo now. He was 20 pounds heavier. Now, we got that, right here. So now link to the Cam Discord. Cameron Payne. Yes. His dancing Andre partner. Andre Robeson. Andre Robeson. Rookie year, Sabonis. Yep. Who was shooting threes, by the way. Sabonis was a catch-up shooter, by the way. He was a catch-up shooter. Rookie year Sabonis. Not now. Not Sabonis now. Rookie year Sabonis. No, but he was a catch-up shooter that year. He was literally <laughs> sitting in the corner doing this. Well, go watch film. He would run from three to three like this. <laughs> I swear. Bro. Hey. BS. Bro, bro, bro. No. No, nah, no. Nah. No BS. No BS. I saw Sabonis. I was watching film. 
I said, nigga, is that Zabonis? He was what? He was number three, right? So what? Nigga, I saw Zabonis do this. I said, I said, nigga ran from three to three and said, I said, oh, hell no. Nah. Get your ass on the bench. Dead ass. That verbatim, yeah. I said that. So is that roster good? <laughs> that might be the worst roster assembled since That's like, that's like a seven out of ten, bro. Seven out of ten, bro. I'm about to get off this Discord, bro. This man just said seven out of ten. That's a, that's a four. And Russell Westbrook makes the four. Be Ellis, do you want to hear a four roster? I'll give you one. Any LeBron Cleveland here, first thing. I'll give you a four roster. Who? You about to pull up that second of the Kings roster. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh shit. my gosh. Bro, there is no way on planet Earth that you can tell me the impact Russell Westbrook had in 2017 was, was not more of an impact just by smudge than uh Stephen Curry. Stop it. All right, okay, okay. I'm gonna read Stephen Curry's team. Hold on. Oh, that team is that team is loaded. For sure. That team is loaded. But I wanna I wanna break something down. Hold on, give me a second. Clay Thompson they're getting 37 and a quarter. Well, is this 2015-16, right? Yes. All right, <clears throat> so we got Leandro Barbosa. Harrison really, Barnes, really Har Harrison really. Barnes, who Steph elevated to become an eight million dollar player. By the way, FYI, Andrew Bogut, who was actually the one of the best rim protectors in the league that year. Ian Clark, who also at, under Steph's system elevated his gameplay because he signed a contract thereafter. <clears throat> Let's talk about Bottom it. Back up. Steph Curry, Festus Ezeli, which I've talked to Festus in person before. He said, "Bro, the way Steph elevates the game, the team." I see, I like it's second to none. Right, right? Draymond Green. Without Steph, what is Draymond Green? What is Draymond Green without Steph? What is Steph without Draymond? What the f***? We see Steph without Draymond. His rookie year. No, 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 Rookie year stats. Steph Curry. Steph is rookie year average 18, 6, and 5. Yeah. It wasn't that's, special. Yo, that's, that's not f***ing special. Averaging 18, 6, and 5 as a rookie. That's not special. Who's rookie of the year this year? Uh, 9 10 That was Tyreek Evans. Tecmo oh, Kings. I, wait, no, 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 no. That was, uh... Yeah, Tyreek yeah. Evans. Tyreek Evans. Tyreek Evans? Yeah. But Tyreek Evans also averaging 20, 5, and 5. Only 4 ever in history. So when I seen that, I said, oh, we got us one, nigga. We got us one. The next year, <laughs> I said, wait a minute. I said, what happened to our development system? What, what, what went wrong? Uh, <clears throat> Andre Iguodala, who won finals MVP, which was crazy. No, he deserved that. That's why I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand some of you Steph lovers, man. When he doesn't get something, y'all just fight to death. Andre Iguodala deserved that. He wouldn't have got it if he didn't. I don't, I, don't, I don't know where this narrative comes from all of a sudden that Steph deserved that MVP and all of this. I'm not going to lie to you, man. Andre Iguodala guarded LeBron James to 39% in those finals. Nobody has ever even thought about doing that. 39, I know LeBron averaged like 35, 36 that, uh, that finals. He held him to 39% from the floor. As soon as he was inserted into the starting lineup and they went small, the entire thing changed. Mm -hmm. They were down 2-1 before Iggy Iguodala was uh, in that starting lineup. Iggy came in that starting lineup. They won four, three straight games. Iguodala's MVP that series. Can we, can we not remember that Bron literally was playing with Matthew Della fucking the Vadova? And he was going to win that series if Iggy wasn't in that starting lineup. He still shot 40%. It wasn't LeBron's doing. It was his teammates doing. They just stepped to the play. Anyways, we like I was it. saying, right, Igu right. you're saying Iguodala? Hold on. Time out. I'm about to time stamp this because, yeah, I need this. I need this. No, no, no. I'm comfortable with my skin. You, are you saying Iguodala should deserve the finals MVP over Steph Curry? That year, yes. Who has ever held LeBron to that low of a percentage in big games? Okay, if okay, no, 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 let, let's, let's keep it 100. We're talking about the same finals MVP which LeBron got votes for, that even though he lost, he still got votes to win that thing. We're talking about that finals MVP where he shut that LeBron down, where he, he still almost won finals MVP in a losing oh my effort. God, you're Come not on, bro. So, Iguodala, Iguodala is not the finals MVP, bro. Oh then why he got God. it, so? Because they're, they smoking meth like you. They would have gave it to him. They, he got it. 
He got just like in 2016, even if the Warriors would have won game seven, it would have went to Draymond. Oh my. Oh man. Oh man. <clears throat> oh. You remember how you trolled me early? Woo! You remember how you trolled me early? Woo! You remember how you trolled me early? <laughs> so, no time out. You, you actually believe that. You believe, no. Dr- you believe Draymond. Not in 2016, no. So if, if, if they were the one, who would it went to? Curry. Okay. Most definitely. K- KD years. Do you think KD should have got those finals MVPs over Steph? Yes. Why? Impact on the game. 2018, they don't win without. They don't beat the Rockets without uh, Kevin Durant. Impact on the game. Go watch that film. Go watch who 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 no but, who no who who drew who drew more attention. Steph had one bad game. That's what fucked it up. But who who drew more attention to allow KD to ISO more? Stephen Curry. But that's my thing. When it's time to get a bucket, who they get a ball to? They can give it to either or. But but Oh no, you can't. No, oh, no. They were they were they were gonna double Steph. They were gonna double Steph every that's time. That's because he's coming up off ball screens. I'm gonna double him. Exactly. Come on, come on. So that's why they said, you know what? KD's on the ISO situation. They look like KD ISO. They said we'll live with the KD ISO over a Steph. And you got your screen. ass burnt. And you got your ass burnt. And you got your ass burnt. Listen. Listen. Come on, man. Listen. Listen. Hey, 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 nah, Wait. Let me, let me, when it's time to get a bucket, who they get a basketball to? Steph Curry. That seven-foot um, monster. And I don't um, even like KD. Nah. You don't like KD? Hell no. You're a traitor. All right. Here's my question to you then. Do you think... Do Wait, you think... Go ahead. Do you think Steph Curry gets another ring if they don't get Kevin Durant? This past year? It would have been this past year. So set his but second don't ring. you think the NBA landscape would have been totally different? If I think Kevin I think even go if ahead. Kevin does go there, I think Braun honestly has seven rings. Definitely, easy, easy, mother yeah, effing I'm, money. I mean, oh. First of all, he wouldn't even be worried about the Warriors no more because he'd be right here. He'd be me? right here all in eight. Man, come on, man. Yeah, the for sure. Went cry to get Kitty, man. Oh, for sure. So, so, why, so, are you, so, why are you so high on Steph Curry? Um, I, I told you this in person. I, I'm never. I'm not even a Steph nor Russ guy. I'm a Kyrie guy. I said, I have no bias in the conversation. I'm just playing devil's advocate here because you're saying 2017 rests like a landslide when I've oh, asked, no, I've, no, I've asked thousands of people. No, thousands. I don't want that narrative. Thousands. I talked to Dev. Dev even said, oh, Steph by a landslide. Dev don't like my ball, man. Dev was saying Harden was getting better dunks than Russ, man. I don't know what Dev. Come on, man. Stop that. Did you watch the Did you watch the film session? Man, boy ain't getting no better dunks than Westbrook, man. I could, I could watch film for years. Boy ain't dunking that ball like Westbrook, man. So I don't want to. I don't want to make it seem like it's not no landslide. I'm talking about it's, it's this close because it's literally. Do you rather a better marksman or do you rather a better all around player? It's about who you want. Who's the better all around player? Who's the better all around player? Give me all right, Herlo, because I don't want to. I don't want to just spew anything. Like, can we break it down into categories? Yeah, yeah, we can break it down in categories. Let's go. Okay. Go ahead, shooting. Come on, bro. Seriously, Steph. Ball handling. Steph. Um, defense. Russell Westbrook. Shoot, I mean, they both. I mean, Steph played better defense than Russ now. I tell you that. Yeah, um, he does. Now, yes. I'm uh, talking about 2017. Okay. No. Okay. I'm talking about 2017, Russ. IQ. Oh, Steph Curry. Um, Man, I don't want to listen. I want to explain that too. Like, I know Russ does boneheaded shit, but we're not gonna act like act like in 2016. Steph wasn't turning that shit over in the finals in big moments. We're not going to act like, come on now, we're not going to act like Steph is out here not throwing that shit all over the court too. It's just his marksmanship awes you so much that you kind of know to the mistakes that he makes. But he, he throws that shit on the court too. We talk about Steph th- turning that shit over too. Okay. Um, what about, let's go rebounding. Okay, Russ. Easy. Yes, I'm close. Um, leader, leadership. Oh, it's a, it's a pick em. It's a pick em. It's a pick em in that. It's a pick em in that. It's a because you could say Steph's selflessness has propelled him to, to, to higher heights due to, but you could say Russell Westbrook's alpha dog mentality can lead anyone like to the playoffs. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like his alpha dog mentality in 2017 allowed him to will his team to the playoffs, but you, but you can say Steph Curry's selflessness allowed that system to flourish. With Clay, Draymond, him, and you know what I'm saying in 2016. Okay. No, yeah, no, so I, I, I expect that. What? 
Okay. There's one word. There's one word. Passing. Russell Westbrook. <clears throat> okay. Russell Westbrook. Huh. Russell Westbrook. Athleticism. Oh, Russ by Landslot. So that's really all the cat. So if we really break it down, it's really even. Listen, I'm putting it like this. Steph Curry is the best point guard of this generation. Then Russell Westbrook. Wait, wait, where's where's Chris Paul in that conversation? Point guards. If we're talking about point no, guards. Russ where's, is here, Chris Paul's here. So so Chris Paul is not in that top two conversation? Not at all. Stop it. Why? Not at all. But I'm saying, okay, I'm I'm asking why is Russ? Russ only been to one finals? CP3 only been to one finals. Accolades. So never count accolades. Okay, then Bill Bill Russell's the greatest. Well, your resume matters. Let's count accolades. All right, then what what about what about what about finals? Western Conference finals appearances. I have more than that's fine. But did you get to the did you get to that big dance though? More oh my god. More than, more than CP3. I'm just saying, did you get to that big dance more than CP3 though? I want to say, man, you make you actually make some great points, man. You know, with all the troll and everything, you make you make some great points. You know what I'm saying? You're you were able it, you were able to test your gangster against, you know what I'm saying, my gangster, you know what I'm saying? And Bro, I, I, I feel like you. I feel like I know I feel like I I know the most basketball um in the community. I was, like me, Dev. I think you you no, could be in that conversation. Like I said, I, I I love basketball. I know the game. Um so it's like if 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 people could go bar to bar with me, I respect it. I can respect that.